for you. Come on, that's it. Let him hear you tell him how wonderful he is. He enjoys your worship. He inhabits the praises of his people. Worship him because he's so awesome. He lives in my worship. He lives in my worship. He lives in my worship. Who 
morning. Praise the Lord. I want everyone on Facebook to know this morning that my greatest fear has come upon me. My parking lot is empty this morning. But my God is full this morning. Praise Him. Yes, it is. In the crisis this morning that is uh, 
circling the globe. The hand of God is moving like it did when the plague destroyed the first born in Egypt. It was the blood over the doorposts that saved the, the children of God this morning. Amen. We're in a similar type situation this morning. But we have access this morning to a greater blood than goats and lambs this morning. We have access to a blood, amen, uh, more precious, amen, than turtle doves or any animal there is. We have access this morning to the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. So the people of God this morning will shut themselves up in their homes and apply the blood to their doorposts like the, the he Israelites did way back then. I believe the death angel would pass over us uh, and not cause us any harm. I'm just foolish enough to believe in the blood of the Lamb this morning. Yes, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't have anything else. They haven't even haven't even developed uh, an antidote, amen, or, or a cure, amen. Uh, but I know somebody that has a cure. Yes. And his name is Jesus, amen. Yes. He said, by my stripes, you are healed, amen. Yes. And if you drink anything deadly, yes. it will not kill you, yes. amen. So I thank God this morning Hallelujah. that if the church would put the blood over their doorposts mm. at their home by being prayerful inside the home. Yes. So if the people this morning of God would shut themselves up in their homes, and apply the blood to the doorpost, I believe the death angel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The lady said, I don't believe the virus Amen. Right. will touch us this morning. Right. In 2 Chronicles 7 14, in a prayer meeting, God gave it to me, and some were here a few Sundays ago. Amen. This is a personal message this morning from God to you this morning. To you who are on Facebook this morning. This is a personal message to you this morning. If my people. That's right. Yeah. Which are called by my name. Yes. Would just humble themselves and pray. Yes. And seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sin. And I will heal, heal their Amen. land. Amen. That's powerful because the land needs a healing this morning. Amen. The land needs a washing this morning. The land needs a healing this morning. And the land can only get the healing by God and the people of God who pray for the healing. Yes, right. Thank you, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. There is no death angel, no any virus that can penetrate your home if the blood of Jesus is covering your house. God. I believe you this morning. Amen. That if the blood of Jesus covers your house, amen, we look for salvation in all the wrong places. Amen. Uh, we, we sterilize. Uh, my son showed me last night on a, a bottle of Clorox, amen, that it said that it has nothing to do with the virus, amen, but people are using it anyway. Amen. People are using a mask as a paint mask. has nothing to do with the virus. Amen. We're looking for it in all the wrong places this morning. But I believe this morning that God's people need to find a place, amen, where they can humble themselves and pray. Oh, I hope you believe in God on Facebook this morning. Because that's what I'm preaching this morning. I'm preaching about an almighty God who has all power in his hands. In Mark 9 and 29, when the, the apostles could not cast out an evil spirit, mm. Jesus said, this kind can only be cast out, can only go away by prayer and fasting. There is no antidote. Yes. So what are you going to use? You're going to depend on your wipes? You're going to depend on your mask that is not the right mask? You're going to isolate yourself? Amen. You're going to go in a hiding forever? Amen. While you're in hiding, you need to bend your knee, amen, and pray to the living God this morning. Yes, sir. I hope my friends in Houston are hearing me this morning. Yes. 
Are there any believers out there on Facebook? Does anyone still believe in the power of the Almighty God? Do you still believe He is your protector and your shield this morning? I'm not waiting for the government to develop an antidote, amen. I already got my antidote, amen. And He dwells within me. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost, amen. Yeah. And every chance that I get, I'm going to stir him up. Yes, sir. Huh. I'm not putting on, putting my family at the safety of the, at the hands of men. I'm not putting the safety of my family in the hands of a man. I choose to reside and rest my case in the hands of the Almighty God this morning. Yeah, that's right. My God, it kind of reminded me of David when he, he had three choices. And uh, he said, I choose to be in the hands of the yes. Almighty God. Yes, yes, yes. The covering can only come by prayer and fasting. That's it. Safety can only come when you sincerely bend your knees and from your heart call on the name of the That's Lord. Right. Yes. Amen. I know we're in an impossible situation this morning. But the three Hebrew, Hebrew children were in That's an right. impossible situation. That's Amen. Right. It got so bad that, that they even went down into the fire. Amen. But my God was in the fire. Yes. And, uh, my God delivered them out of the fire. Yes. And if he can deliver them out of the fire of the furnace. Amen. God can deliver me today in America. Amen. And set me apart from everything that would come against my family. Of the church this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Many Sundays we need church. Good church, we said. Uh -huh. Whether he preached, I don't know, but it was good. <laughs> yeah. We go home to enjoy the Super Bowl, the Peace Bowl, and the No Name Bowl. <laughs> but look what God has done. He has removed all these pastimes uh, out of our way. So you can't even go to work. What else do we have to do? Nothing. I can't go home and then watch the NBA. It ain't happening. Amen. I can't go home and watch the NFL. It ain't happening. Amen. I can't go home and watch golf this morning or tennis. It's not happening. Amen. So I may as well go home, get in my prayer closet, and pray. Amen. And thank God this morning. He just, as, look what God has done. He has yeah. moved some of these things out of our way, some of these things that were possibly hindrances to us. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you again, this is a personal message from God to you this morning. Take it to heart this morning. If my people, uh -huh. are you called by the name of the Lord? Yeah. Yes. If you would just humble yourself yes. and pray yes. and seek his face, and turn from your wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Yes. God said, I'm going to hear you. Thank and I will forgive the sin. I will heal the land. Yes, sir. God is commanding uh -huh. and has commanded our attention this morning. That's right. Does he not have it this morning? Yes. Does he not have the attention from the entire world this morning? Yes. Amen. Even places where there is no Christian church in, uh, in India in some places and in uh, North Korea and in China this morning, amen, that people are, don't know what they're praying for, but they're getting down in prayer. There is no other help, amen, but they, they're going to prayer this morning. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. We started praying in this church before the virus even came. Amen. Yeah. I felt something coming in my spirit. Between 8 and 10 every morning, me and Brother Carl and Sister King, amen, were here praying. Yeah. Brother Joe Thibodeau is starting an evening prayer for those that work, sometime like maybe 4 or 5 or 6 in the evening, amen, those who cannot make it to prayer. Let me reiterate again, if my people which uh -huh. are called by my name, yes, just humble yourself in prayer, seek my face, I'm going to heal the land. In Deuteronomy 4, 24 and 25 says, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, 
And not only is he consuming, but he's jealous this morning. Yes. Yes. Amen. And I felt like I'm just speaking for America this morning. That God has made the people of, of America has made God jealous this morning. Right. Amen. For when you have put him on the back burner, yes. amen, and put everything right. you want on the front burner, yes. even on the Sabbath day, on the Sunday, that they has called by the name of the Lord, amen, it has made God jealous, amen, yes. over the entire earth, and God is saying, yes. I saw what you did, now you shut up and be quiet and see what I'm doing, nobody's going to... We have New Orleans Saints jerseys, we got New Orleans Saints caps. I'm not talking about the Cowboys. We have New Orleans Saints blankets and New Orleans Saints stickers on our cars, but we don't have anything that proclaims the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Well, my God, if we walk around with anything, it ought to be a T-shirt that says Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Who saved you? The Saints or Jesus? Amen. 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 Who brought you out? Amen. It was Jesus. Amen. Who went to the cross for you? It was Jesus, amen. amen. We ought to be proclaiming that name but every chance that we get, amen. And that name should be proclaimed more than anybody else yeah. in America today. Yeah. Everybody ought to be saying, Jesus, yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus is born today, amen. Yeah. And then God will move. We'll get back the jealousy from God. Yes. And God will. Move on our behalf this morning. Amen. But we don't have anyone proclaiming the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In Philippians 2, 9 through 11. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Knee. Of the things in heaven. Yes. And the things in earth. Yes. And the things under the earth. See, you, you're not hearing me this morning. I got to make it plain to you this morning. That at the name of Jesus this morning. That everything is going to bow. Yeah. That at the name of Jesus, amen, that, that the stripes, amen, will heal All your right. body this morning. Yes, that at the name of Jesus, yes, amen, sir. that everything must bow down to the name of Jesus, amen. Yes, that polio must bow down. Yes, AIDS yes, must sir. bow down. Corona yes, must yes, bow down. Yes, we yes, take authority yes, this morning. Yes, God. Yes, that every time we should confess that Jesus is Lord mm. to the glory of the Father. Lord. Today, God is using his consuming fire yes, to drive his people back to him. Yes. When we first started looking yes. at it about three weeks ago, we saw maybe in one country there was a little red dot there that somebody had it and America only about three weeks ago maybe only had I think a hundred and so and you know but now yes. this space all over the world now mm -hmm. amen I, I, I thought I thought yesterday you know I, said, I thought yesterday I said you know suppose we run out of food here at my house my son gave me some ideas you know but I'm not sure we're going to use those ideas he says yes praise God and I thought about it, you know, I say, you know, suppose there's no food here or, 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 or we, we get in bad shape here. And, and immediately my mind ran back to the time when there was a hurricane and you ran to San Antonio. But we can't run to San Antonio no more. All right. It's in San Antonio. Yes, sir. We can't run to China or it's for real in China. We can't go to Japan. Is it Jesus said, the Lord said, that wherever you make your bed, yeah. I am there. Yeah. If you make it down in hell, I'm going down there too. Yeah. If you make it in heaven, I'm going to be. Yeah. We have yeah. to wear yes, yes, yes. yes. Since you can't run, bend your knee. Yeah. <laughs> you can't run, say some prayers. Yes, yeah. You can't run, call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Habakkuk shocked the world. Habakkuk was shocked that God would use a pagan nation. And today he uses a, a pagan virus to punish the world for his sins. It just, just didn't happen. My God is in control of everything. It didn't just happen. 
My God. He knows everything. No sparrow goes to the ground. The very hairs on your head that you got hair are counted. Amen. This just didn't happen. That's right. God knows it's going to happen. That's right. And God is in control of it, amen. Yes, and God will let it go as far as like the sea. Thus far shall you go and not any further, amen. But God is in control. He's in control of everything that is happening today. Yes, he is. And I promise you this morning, you go back and play this in a month or two or three or four or even next year. That at the right time. Huh. That at the right moment, amen, that when God says no more, amen, right. Corona will vanish yeah. from the face of it. Praise God. Yes, Lord. The fire is from a form of a virus that is spreading like wildfire. Who else can affect every nation on the face of the earth? It must be God who That's is right. sending the storm. In Isaiah 13 and 11, the word of the Lord says, And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the land. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, hmm. even a man than the gold and wedge of Ophir. Therefore, the Lord says, I will shake the heavens. Mm -hmm. And I'm shaking the earth right now. Mm -hmm. In the wrath of the Lord's host. In the day of his fierce anger. The Lord is not speaking what we want to hear this morning. Right. We want to hear words like, business as usual. Mm. <laughs> How come the shopping malls ain't open up? The gambling places need to come to life again. Yes, yes, yes. But God ain't speaking those kind of things. Habakkuk said, look, be amazed. You, you will be astonished at what I am about to do. For I am going to do something in your own lifetime that you will have to see to believe in. And we see it. Oh, my God. And we believe it today. Amen. This is a work that God is working. Amen. Don't get angry with God. Don't be mad at God. Amen. Don't shut yourself down and say, I'm not going to pray or I'm not going to fast. Or, I'm not going to seek God. Amen. If there ever was a time in America to give God praise, today yes. is to yes. give Him praise. Amen. Yes. Praise God. He said, all things give me praise. Uh, what about when I'm sick, Lord? Give me praise. Uh, right. My money is funny. Give me praise. Yes. Amen. I got the virus in my home. God said, just give me praise this morning. Thank you, Lord. And God gets through working. Hmm. Many will turn from their wicked ways because of what is happening now. Sure we are this morning in the last days. This may be the call of America. Did you ever think about it? This may be America's call to turn from their wicked ways yes, yes. and turn to the Lord. This may be America's call this morning. Stop oppressing the poor. Stop abortion right now. Stop the corruption in high places. It's time this morning for preachers to step up to the plate and take their best swing. Come on. Let preachers stop performing their duties in the pulpit and stop preaching the word of God. Stop preaching for money. Stop preaching for fame. Stop preaching because you think you all that in a bag of chips. Stop preaching because of what they pay you this morning. But preach the word of God because of what God says this morning. It is time. That's good. It is past time yes. for the house of God, the people of God, to get in order and comply with the word of God. Mm. I'm going to hit home just a little bit. I'm done. But this has been working in my spirit for a couple of weeks now. And so this morning, 
And I'm not afraid of anybody but God this morning. That's right. Amen. I'm not afraid of any organization. I'm not afraid of any bishop anywhere. I'm not afraid of no district superintendent, no, nobody, nowhere. Speaking this morning to my Pentecostal preachers this morning, why do you need a 357 Magnum huh. in your house? Right. Yeah, that hit, that's hurt. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm talking to the preachers this morning. Yes, sir. Why do you need a 357 Magnum or an assault rifle that can shoot 20 rounds in a second and a half in your home? I thought Jesus was so exceeding yeah. and great reward. I got my hand in my pocket now. I feel pretty good now. I thought that Jesus was your all in all. I thought that you relied on the Lord Jesus. I thought you trusted in the Lord, amen. But I heard the prophet say, some men trust in horses, yeah. and some men trust in chariots, amen. Yeah. But that for me in my house. Closing this morning, yes, sir. God is speaking through a small virus. But are we listening this morning? Are we listening this morning? My God. What I don't understand is that nobody, nowhere, has an understanding about what is really going on. And, and it slipped upon us so fast until. It was the hand of God that ushered it in. Behind it all is the hand of the Almighty God working. Now, I don't know how. And I, I know He's humbling people. And I know He's getting the attention of people. And I, I know that people are going to change because of this. But behind it all, is a God yes. that's bigger than everything. That's right. Bigger than our imaginations. Yes. Bigger than our cares. Yes. Bigger than our trials. Yes. God is speaking through a small virus yes. voice this morning. Yes. Did I ever show you what that microscopic thing is in the virus? It's so small it takes a, a magnifying glass to right. see it to identify that this is the virus. God is speaking through that this morning. The question is this morning, Facebook, people of God, people of America, preachers this morning, are you listening this morning? God bless you. Thank you.
watching this, lift your hand and you begin to give God thanks and give Him praise. We're so thankful for the church in this hour. Amen. And we thank you for fellowshipping with us on this morning. If you would like to support this ministry, you can text the word GIVE, G-I-V-E, to 337-467-7981. Or visit us at www.mttupc.com. May God bless and keep you and your family. God bless you. Thank you.